Hey guys, I know I look kind of sleepy because it's early and I'm on my way out. I need to go to the grocery store and I need to um, drop off some paperwork about my, uh, I'm about my job searching, but I wanted to talk because it's on my mind. This job searching is one where I see I have many options but once okay let me give you guys an example so recently i went to a job interview so i've been getting all these um job interviews but it's through recruiters so this particular recruiter um saw my resume and say wow you would be a great fit so i do the job interview i go to the job Remember, doing job interviews, you're spending your own money and your own time, which I don't have any of that right now. Like, I'm unemployed, so, you know, please don't waste people's time. So, I went on this job interview. The interview went great to me. I'm uh, I'm the kind of entry level, kind of experience. I'm like an in-between because I have, I went to college. I had a job. So, it's like, I know the basics. Put me in there. Tweak how your office might do certain things i'll catch you on quick and that's about it so i went the interview went great to me it's like okay i will be a great fit because if you're saying you need someone put me in coach but i waited the two weeks um i didn't hear anything but when it was me trying to apply i was getting called and emailed every day hey can you come hey can you do this da, da, da. but as soon as now it was my turn for response everybody gets quiet so I, I hit up the recruiter and was like hey did i get the job and she was like unfortunately i wasn't enlisted or whatever that is for the position so i'm like fine whatever but i'm sitting here reflecting and i'm starting to think it was a small company i am young and even when I went there, everybody was like, ooh, like they never saw a person like me before, whatever that's supposed to mean. Because it was like, oh, you look so nice. And, you know, um, where did you work before? And I remember I talked to some front desk lady. I was like, I worked in the city. She said, oh, yeah, I remember the city. I missed the city. And even when I had to sit down with the person who did the interview, she was like, oh, my gosh, you're so dressed up. I just come to work like whatever. And I'm looking at her like, of course I have to come dressed up. This is an interview. I know I got fashion since I went to the college. But like it's like certain things I pay attention to how people talk because they tell on themselves. And then I have to also remember when I go places, I look young. You know, they're looking at me. I probably look like I could still be in high school. Like if I really put my hair in a ponytail and look cute, I look like a kid. So I think they don't be thinking I know what I'm talking about. So I know there's like many factors that can be put against me not getting certain jobs, but I try not to dwell on the negative. I try to dwell on the positive. Um, sometimes you could be overqualified for a job and I thought about that as well. I'm like, okay, maybe they want someone kind of like less experienced and maybe they want a person where their mind is still set on I work just a nine to five. My job is everything. I'm here forever. You can have me for life or I need this job to take care of my kids or I have a husband and he's making me work. We need to pay bills for a mortgage, and, you know, or they have debt. So I have to remember that too. A lot of these jobs is set in stone for people who have had acquired debt. So you need the job to pay your debt. I'm child free. I'm single, I'm young, um, I don't have any debt. So it's like, I'm trying to work this job to survive and then the surplus money that I do make is to save or the um, burdens or responsibilities that have been put on me from my parents, like to pay that off and you know, I have siblings to help, that's what I mean, but they're not a burden, I love my family. But you know, pretty much, so that's my only responsibility, but it's not my responsibility. I'm just doing it out of the kindness of my heart. So these jobs have to realize I necessarily don't need them, 
I'm going to apply if they need me because I just need the money to have a roof over my head at the end of the day and keep my stuff because I'm at the office nine to five all day. I'm only home on the evenings and the weekend. So like, let's be real. I'm in a unique position where I necessarily don't need them. If I could find another source of income that requires or that allows me to have more freedom and flexibility, I'm going to take that over the nine to five. It's just in a matter of time that I will find that, which is either here through YouTube or um, something else. And I'm going to take that. If I'm able to make enough money to pay my bills and necessities, and then I can have flexibility, I'm definitely taking it, guaranteed, as long as I stay straight on the right path and focus, for sure. But I just wanted to say, like, um, I have a few other opportunities that just hit me up. Um, I'm going to, it's like three. I'm going to look into those. Like I said, it's not, I'm not even talking directly to the companies that are hiring. I'm talking to recruiters. So then I have to talk to these recruiters. They think I'm a great fit. Then now they have to pass me to the company to say, hey, I think she's a great fit. And then I have to interview with them. And then it's them with the yes or the no. And then if I have the options to choose and I choose who I want. All the jobs right now are on site, which is kind of a bummer. I kind of would like a hybrid or remote, but I understand I have to go on site, um, nine to five, typical. It is what it is. I'm doing it because I have to right now. Um, and that's pretty much it. <sighs> yeah, I'm just upset because I have to waste my own time and money going to these interviews. Sometimes they want you to come to the office. So I have to spend the time of New York's buses and trains could take hours to get there. And I have to use my own money to get there. You know, that would be great if they could start reimbursing people or pay for people's um, bus fare and stuff. Because they always trying to make it seem like we need them. But in some cases, you need me. Like, come on. You're supposed to help each other. Let's meet each other halfway now. Come on. But that's about it for now. Uh, I don't want to talk too long because I don't. I want to have even get to that place to drop off my paperwork so I could get in and out of there because being there... That's another thing too. Everything's incompetent. Nobody, I don't know. Like, I'm noticing nobody's doing their job right. <laughs> it's like, it's getting on my nerves. It's like, now that I can see everything for what it is, y'all, nobody doing their job right. But got always something to say. 